A conference taking place in Rome next month will look at the relevance of women doctors of the church and patron saints of Europe in today's world. The event will highlight the message of these saints, their contributions to the church, and how they can still inspire the pastoral work of the entire church in the near future. Joining us now from Rome is Shahid Mobin, professor of philosophy at the Pontifical Urban University in Rome. Uh, welcome. Thank you so much for being with us today, Professor. Can you tell us a little bit more about next month's conference and why now? Well, um, on the 7th and 8th of March 2022, the Pontifical Urbaniana University together with the Catholic University of Avila and the Institute for Advanced Studies on Women of the Regina Apostolorum University. These three Catholic universities are getting together to highlight the importance of the thought of these doctors of the church, women doctors of the church, and patrons of Europe. Because these personalities have given an important contribution not only in the historical particular period, but they remain a universal figure as the Catholic Church is. And which saints in particular uh, do you plan on focusing on? Well, uh, there are uh, you see six figures, uh, six personalities, six saints uh, who we would like to highlight in particular. Uh, first of all, Catherine of Siena, Teresa of Avila, uh, Therese of Lisieux and uh, Hildegard of Bingen. And along with them, also the um, uh, Saint Teresa Benedict of the Cross, known also as Edith Stein, and uh, uh, Bridget of Sweden. So these uh, six saints, these six figures, not only uh, in their thoughts, along with that, also in their uh, practical experiences, have lived the faith. Um, and the teachings of the church, they are based in the gospel in a way that they are example for the present uh, challenges which the church is facing in the globalized world, which has got so many uh, aspects to be dealt with. So they are a light also for all of us and for all the Christians, and I would say also for the humanity. Uh, as we mentioned, you're a professor at the Pontifical University. Uh, can you talk about how your work relates to the conference and also what you hope comes out of it? Well, I teach philosophical anthropology in the Pontifical Urbaniana University, and um, uh, I try to get a better understanding of the thought of Edith Stein, not only uh, of her philosophy, but also of her religious experience. She, through phenomenological instruments paves also the path to individuate the terrain for interreligious dialogue because the essential structure of human being to which Pope John Paul II also uh, gave a hint, a very important hint also in that direction in his encyclical Fides et Ratio, so much so that he mentioned also Edith Stein, um, the human being as essentially is the same everywhere in any context, in any nation, in any race, if you want to say, even if that would not be the right word, but that was a problem in the time of Egyptian. So um, in, as I come uh, from Pakistan, being a Pakistani Catholic, uh, I must say that I try to build together with the bishops, together also with the other uh, members of the communities from the from Pakistan who belong to other religions, other cultures also who migrated to Pakistan from Iran, from Afghanistan, from China. There are possibilities of making bridges so that there is a possibility of interreligious dialogue, uh, in uh, dialogue of cultures, and it is not so easy because by constitution Christians in Pakistan are discriminated, and in a public uh, moment. They are also persecuted. Well, Professor, thank you so much for speaking with us today. We really appreciate it. Uh, Shahid Mobin, Professor of Philosophy at the Pontifical Urban University in Rome. Thank you again, Professor. Thank you.